Qatar mourns the loss of two influential figures just days apart. Over in Pakistan, Doha is contributing millions to help deal with a flood crisis. It's good news for pilgrims heading to Mecca this year. And finally, the head of the French Football Federation has backtracked on comments against Zidane following backlash. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. It's a devastating week for Qatar as two influential figures pass away. The vice president of the Qatar Football Association, Saud Al Muhannadi, passed away on Tuesday. Al Muhannadi also served as the vice president of the Asian Football Confederation. In a tweet on Tuesday, Sheikh Jaan said he served his country with all sincerity and devotion. Just days earlier, Qatar Media Corporation announced the death of Qatar TV's first ever head, Dawad Maraka. He leaves behind a series of accomplishments across the region, with one of them being a key founder of Jordanian television. Qatar said it donated $25 million to help Pakistan handle a flooding crisis that impacted millions across the country. One third of the South Asian country was drenched with more than 2 million houses destroyed and 1.2 million livestock animals dying in the process. 8 million people were also displaced and more than 1,000 died as a result of the disaster. Now, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has announced news that will surely bring joy across the Muslim world. The annual Hajj pilgrimage for Muslims will not be limited this year as authorities lift restrictions in imposed during the COVID-19 era. An estimated 2.5 million people performed Hajj in the kingdom in 2019 prior to the COVID-19 pandemic. The numbers this year are expected to reach similar levels. And finally, in sports, France Football Federation's head honcho Noël Legraet has apologized for what he has dubbed as awkward remarks about Zinedine Zidane's potential interest in coaching the French national team. Legraet had dismissed Zidane in an interview, stating that he wouldn't even take a call from the French legend. Following criticism from French prodigy Kylian Mbappe, who labeled Le Graet comments as disrespectful, the French chief has now retracted his remarks. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.